Okay, first, I know that life can be hard when your Mac desktop looks like this. In the first few years of using my Mac, my desktop was also permanently cluttered with hundreds of screenshots that I only needed once but never remembered to delete. That is until I discovered two easy fixes that have kept my desktop looking clean and organized. The first fix is simple. After taking a screenshot, don't ignore this little screenshot preview window in the bottom right corner. Instead, right-click on it and select Save to Clipboard. This way, you can paste the screenshot wherever you need it without it being saved as a file to your Mac. If you prefer to have a saved version of your screenshots for later usage, I'd recommend changing the saving location. Hit Command, Shift, and 5 on your keyboard to bring up the floating screenshot toolbar. Click on Options, and then check out the Save to Category at the top. From there, you can choose a new folder where your screenshots will be saved. Personally, I find the Downloads folder to be the most useful. I can quickly drag the screenshot from my dock into my document, or wherever I want to share it. Or else the best trick to make your desktop clean is just tap with two fingers and click on Use Stack. Boom! Just like that, my desktop stays clean and organized. Welcome back, guys! In this video, I'm showing you some amazing tips and tricks that you might didn't know about. Hopefully, after watching this video, you'll be able to get way more out of your Mac and also be more productive as well. Alright, next takeaway, Quick Look is one of the most underrated features of Mac OS. Quick Look always comes in handy, as I don't want to completely open the item just to preview something. So let me show you what I mean. Inside a folder I have of some wallpapers, if I want to preview some of these images instead of completely opening opening up the image and then closing it on the top left. All I have to do is click on the image and then press and hold the spacebar to get a preview of that item. This works with any file type on the Mac, not just images, and it's a really fast way to preview stuff on your Mac without completely opening it. Next up is to quit an application using a keyboard shortcut. I'll open up Safari for an example. Now the way most people close out of applications is by pressing the red icon here on the top left. However, you'll notice based on the dot that's underneath Safari, Safari is actually still running. And if you want to quit Safari, you have to press on it with two fingers and then press on quit. You can actually do this with just one keyboard shortcut. So while Safari is open, if I go Command Q on my keyboard, it's going to completely close out of Safari and remove it from the RAM. Accessing your emoji keyboard on the Mac is very useful. People don't usually use emojis on the Mac simply because they don't know how to access them. It's way easier to access your emoji keyboard on your iPhone or your iPad, for example. You can access emojis on the Mac, however. It requires a keyboard shortcut. If you go Command Control Space, you're going to see it opens up your emoji keyboard. Now I have it in a different character viewer. When you do it, you're going to see this view right here. You can search for any emoji you want at the top, and it also puts your frequently used emojis right below it as well. So command control space in any text field in the Mac is going to open up your emoji keyboard. Okay, next is taking a screenshot of just a single window on the Mac. You guys are probably familiar with the option to take a screenshot of the entire screen using command shift three. As you can see, it captures my entire screen. If you go command shift four, you can see that the cursor now turns into a pointer and you're able to drag it and create a custom size screenshot. You can actually extend this functionality on Command Shift 4 if you press the spacebar. So I'll open up Safari and then go Command Shift 4. And if I press the spacebar, you can see that my cursor now turns into a camera icon and you can hover this over whichever open window you have. So if I click on Safari right here, you can see it captures Safari as a PNG image. And if I open this up, you can see it captured the window perfectly, even with the rounded corners. So if you just wanna capture a single window on your Mac, Command Shift 4 and then the spacebar is the way to do it. Coming in next, is allows you to easily get a definition of any word anywhere in Mac OS. For example, I'll open up Safari here. Now, if you want to define anything, all you have to do is hover your cursor over the word and then force press on your trackpad over that word, and it's going to automatically open up the dictionary. Now, if you don't have a trackpad on your Mac, you can simply select the word and then click on lookup, and it's going to give you a definition just like that. However, if you have a trackpad, it's a lot easier to do this with just a force press with your fingers. While it's talking about the nitty gritty of Mac OS, there's no way to leave out copying and pasting, which can indeed get very frustrating. We've all been there. You copy some text from Wikipedia to use in your homework assignment and paste it into your stunningly formatted Word document. And oops, the text looks like it's taken straight from a Wikipedia page, which of course it is. Instead of fixing it by changing the font, text size, and everything else every time this happens, start pasting unformatted. First, copy the text like you normally would. Then when you go to paste it, either click on edit in the menu bar and look for paste and match formatting or use the keyboard shortcut shift, option, command, and V. This works anywhere on your Mac and inserted the text in the formatting style of your current document. 
Okay, next up is a really easy way to use split screen on the Mac. Not that many people use split screen because they simply don't know how to do it. In my opinion, I think this is the one area where Windows actually does it better. However, we still can access split screen on the Mac. If you have multiple windows open, all you have to do is press and hold on the green icon in the window. And you can see we have tile window to left of screen and tile window to right of screen. So let's move Safari to the left-hand side and then I can have weather open in the right hand side. And just like that, you can open up a really easy view in split screen on the Mac. Next is quick actions. It's go way further. Now, if you've got a few different file types from which you want to merge a single PDF, that's not a problem. Watch this. I can select two different images and another two PDF files. Then if I right click and again navigate to quick actions, I can choose to create a PDF. In less than a second, I got a PDF file from all the documents I selected. Moving on, your Mac is actually more intelligent than you might think because it can summarize any text passage for you in any app. Just highlight the passage you want to have summarized and click on the app's name in your menu bar. Here, hover over services and click on summarize. Watch what happens now. I can select the summary size, so by how much I want to compress the current text. Once selected, I get a shorter version containing the most important points. If you've never used the summary feature, it won't show up in your menu bar. Again, go to services and then click on services preferences. Here, Expand the text under shortcuts, scroll down, and check summarize. It's now added to your menu bar. I'm really hoping that you've learned something new, which makes using your Mac quicker, easier, or just more enjoyable. That's also my aim with this video, showing you some unbelievably useful tips and ticks. All right, I'll see you there. Thanks so much for watching and have an amazing day.